Land Rover LR4 fuel pressure diagnosis using Autologic's Drive Pro. Begin by identifying the vehicle you're working on. Select Automatic Detection. Confirm vehicle information is correct. Select OK. Select Drive. Select Powertrain Control Module, PCM. Select the vehicle's engine. In this example, 3-liter supercharged V6 is selected. Select Faults, DTC. Check for fault codes pertaining to fuel pressure. In this example, none are stored. Select Back. Select Dynamic Data. Select Emissions Control. Select Fueling. Begin by confirming sensor voltage. Beginning with the low range sensor, sensor voltage is at 3.1 volts. Normally, voltage should be between 1.3 and 3.1 volts. If the voltage were to read 4 to 5 volts or above, it would indicate a shorted sensor. Select Next. High range sensor is at 1 volt. Normally, voltage should be between 1 to 3.1 volts. If the voltage were to read 4 to 5 volts or above, it would indicate a shorted sensor. Select back to return to previous page. Fuel pressure reading can be found next to the fuel pump control B, low pressure, desired. When testing, begin with the key on and the engine off. Let's start with fuel pump control B, low pressure, desired. The current reading of 729 kilopascals indicates a normal sensor value. Next, we'll look at fuel rail pressure and fuel rail pressure desired. Fuel rail pressure is actual fuel rail pressure and will vary, but usually the value will be between 2 and 3,000 kilopascals. Fuel rail pressure desired will usually be between 5 and 6,000 kilopascals. Next, start the engine. Fuel rail pressure desired will usually be between 5 and 6,000 kilopascals. Fuel rail pressure will quickly raise to match desired, then both will stabilize to around 3,000 kilopascals. Fuel pump control B, low pressure, desired, will remain at 729 kilopascals while at high idle. Once engine idle stabilizes, fuel pressure drops to 549 kilopascals. Next, raise and hold the engine RPM to 3000. Fuel rail pressure desired and actual should be about 4800 kilopascals.